DK Metcalf finished wide receiver 12 last year, 75 receptions, 129 targets, 967 yards, 12 touchdowns, 27.27 target share. Thoughts on DK Metcalf? I'm selling Metcalf. I, I, I don't want any part of him. I don't trust the quarterback situation. He had what one one game where he kind of flashed with Geno Smith. Like we've seen what Drew Locke has done with Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy, and it's it's not worth the price tag that it takes to draft DK Metcalf. So um, at this current moment and how things are set up, DK Metcalf, while talented as hell. Uh, is in a situation where I cannot trust the guy throwing him the football and to be able to have him as probably your second wide receiver on a team now, the the way that you're drafting. Um, I I just feel like there's not, again, there's not enough reward for the risk of taking this guy in the third or fourth round. I don't trust the quarterback. I don't trust the quarterback at all in Seattle. It's been – it took Russell Wilson, a Russell Wilson type player, to to make DK Metcalf, you know, into the player that he is. And it's a it's a position completely dependent upon the quarterback. So when you don't trust the quarterback, you know, it's hard to to overcome that. I say all that to say this. I'm I'm also out on DK Metcalf. I'm not looking at him. There's plenty of talented wide receivers in this league, and there's plenty of Um, really good receivers that have better quarterback situations than what DK Metcalf has in Seattle. Seattle in the past has thrown the ball more than I think Pete Carroll necessarily wants to throw the ball because of uh, they had Russell Wilson behind center and they were willing to let him air it out and do Russell Wilson type things. They no longer have him there. We've seen the Drew Locke experience firsthand. Uh, We saw what Geno Smith uh, and that offense looked like last year when Russ missed games. And, I don't know that we're going to see Seattle keep throwing the ball as much as they've done in the past. And so last year, right? Like just to kind of put this in perspective, we were talking uh, a couple weeks ago about Darnell Mooney, who had 28% of the target share and was seeing 150%, 150 target type of range there, right? DK Metcalf last year saw 27% of the target share and didn't crack 130 targets. So again, I think that this pie ends up shrinking, more so on this one to the point where Seattle throws the ball less. They probably increase their run ratio, decrease their pass ratio, make this where it's almost a 50 50 split run to pass ratio on this one. And even if he keeps that same type of target share, I don't know that you're going to see DK Metcalf really rise above about 120 targets on this one. And I don't want a guy that I'm going to have to draft with the third round uh, capital wide receiver 15. That's only going to get me around about 120 targets. I think as the ceiling on this one, I get just, I don't see the, a way to return value unless he's consistently taking those things to the house. Uh, you look at the fact that he had 12 touchdowns last year, which really is what brought him up into wide receiver one territory. I see him regressing towards the mean on this one as well. And him probably going back down to maybe six, seven touchdowns when it's all said and done. So I, I think it's very realistically, you see an outcome of somewhere around wide receiver 22 to 26 